Welcome to your Daily Writing Habit, episode number 608. If you're writing a book or thinking about it, or maybe you've started writing your book, but you need some help getting it done, you are in the right place. Good morning. Happy Thursday. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh. If you're looking for me online, especially social media, look for Christine Inc., like the stuff we write with. Each day, I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 19 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, and they have the ability to turn a quote-unquote non-author into a published one. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Here's today's quote. Actually, the true story of a person's life can never be written. It is beyond the power of literature. The full tale of any life would be both utterly boring and utterly unbelievable. Isaac Bashevis Singer. And of course, that quote speaks to memoirs, the topic of the day today. And I have a question for you. When sharing your life story, particularly in permanent book form like a memoir, where do you draw the line between valuable vulnerability and TMI? For instance, in my memoir, The Power of the Curve, I seriously doubted that everyone wanted to hear about every choice I made in my 20s, especially, (laughs) out in LA as a struggling actress and screenwriter, and just really a struggling human being, I would say. (laughs) And that choice that I made to not share every single thing, but I did share quite a few things, I'll tell you that, but it wasn't due to a lack of courage or, you know, the willingness to be vulnerable. No, the reason for filtering and shaping the story I wanted to tell in my book was a writing decision. Because as an author, it's my job to take you on the most valuable journey possible and the most compelling journey possible. Therefore, it's important that I select the scenes from my life story that offer specific transformative lessons that you can use in your life. It's like selecting the exact right pearls to string together to make the perfect necklace. Each one has its own purpose on the thread. So I have some questions for for you to ask to figure this out. When choosing scenes to include in your memoir, or really anytime you tell your life story, some of you tell it in speeches routinely as, as public speakers or blogging or anywhere where you're, really anywhere where you're talking, you should be sharing pieces of your life story. Those story is the most compelling way to connect with your audience. So when choosing scenes to include in your life story, I suggest that you work backward from your goals, especially your writing goals. Here are some questions you can ask. What is the ultimate lesson I want my readers to walk away with from this book? And when I say book, you can swap in speech, blog, whatever. What information is revealed in this scene that will support that lesson? What do I reveal about myself in this scene that will help the reader better understand my choices and their own? And finally, what character traits do I show here that I would like my readers to model in their own lives? Or maybe not so much modeling in their own lives. Peeling the onion, being vulnerable, and sharing deeply with your readers is a powerful tool but not if it's used just for the sake of being dramatic. Keep your ultimate reader goals in your sights at all times and make sure all your choices as an author connect with it. And I will make sure to drop all the links in the show notes, including Power of the Curve and also a link to my Ink Authors group that I always close by talking about here. Please stop by my Ink Authors group on Facebook for motivation, accountability, book writing, publishing resources, all the things that you need to write your book. Thank you for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I am helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. Until tomorrow, happy writing.